We have a big problem to solve today, guys. We may have just ruined the value of our 1996 Toyota Chaser. Stop it, we're not saying that on camera. First and first mostly, the car has uh, a new position in our garage for a reason. What happened recently was a big blunder. Emily and I went on a camping trip and we had shelves up on the wall over here and we figured, hey, let's put our Pelican cooler up on our shelves and forget about it. One day the Pelican cooler was up on the shelves over there and something had happened in the house, door closed too hard, garage door closed too hard, something. And it shook the Pelican cooler free and the Pelican cooler, this very heavy, very robust cooler, fell onto the chaser and created a huge dent. Oh, fuck. Now this car is 100% original. There has been no mods done to this car. The fenders are original. They weren't even rolled when we got it. They are not fiberglass. There's been no blemishes on this car whatsoever, but look, you can even see the dent this far away from this video. And now it has a huge blemish. So what Emily and I are gonna have to do is get this solved. Okay, the key doesn't work, fuck. The chaser ended up at Metal Magic in Tacoma. And I am so stoked to get this thing done. These guys are gonna go work the magic. We can't film inside, so we'll show you guys what it looks like after it's all done. Oh, look at your eyes. Oh. Did you fix the dent too, Bob? Thanks for doing such a good job. That looks amazing. We just got the car back from Metal Magic and you can see there is no more dent behind me. Now, if you look really, 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 really closely, you might see a high or a low spot in the fender. That's because that Pelican cooler really hammered the fender and dented it really sharply. And so the guys could only pull out so much. But now that we got the fender all sorted, it's time to give the JZX some upgrades that she needs. We're going to be replacing the hood shocks with some Serial 9 goodies. Serial 9 hood shocks are direct replacement. We'll bop these in. We're going to switch out the battery that died in the coal right here with a Braille battery. Now, this is not the final home of the battery. I got a fantastic battery box from uh, a Datsun tuning shop in Oregon. Man, I love the way this combination looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this, see if I can find a mounting point for this battery box here and uh, try and get that part so sorted. Now I put the battery box just inside the battery tray here. I'm gonna use the factory, it looks like a fiberglass battery tray. That battery tray doesn't really corrode. I've already pulled it off once or twice and there's no rust underneath it and it seems to be fiberglass so it's gonna be strong. And then what I'll do is I'll mount these holes here or I'll mark these holes here with white paint and I will drill through them with self-tapper, not self-tappers, with uh, pretty wide hardware to disperse the load and see if I can get this battery box to bolt up to the factory battery tray. And then we, if I could do that, we could pop the Optima in there, or we could pop the Braille battery in this battery box and we should be all good to go. That's just one piece of the engine done. And honestly, it's gonna look sick. I'm gonna take this 21 pound battery out. I probably will need two hands. <laughs> I'm stronger than I thought. And we're gonna line this up with some holes. You can see there's already some markings here. Tap hardware through this, and then I can open up the hardware and make sure everything fits. We got the Braille battery installed with the brand new battery box and boy oh boy does that look sick in the engine bay oh my gosh now let's move on to other items in the engine bay yes we got our little braille battery on a trickle charger we're running the NoCo Genius. It's 30 bucks on Amazon, so great peace of mind to keep the battery always topped off. Now that we got the engine bay 
tidy and the with the serial 9 hood dampers let's move on into the inside there are two things that really are going to set apart the inside of this car one uh, whenever you drive a right-hand drive car, it's hard to remember this sometimes, but the blinker is on your right hand. It's not on your left hand. When you drive a left-hand drive car, the blinker is on the left hand, and you're used to that. But whenever you drive a right-hand si drive car, you always forget that the blinker is on your right side. So I bought something that will help us re remember that the blinker is on the right hand. And we're going to throw on the world famous must do mod to any tuner car a broadway mirror yep might as well throw in squash air freshener while we're at it we're doing that because i want to and that's the little things that really make a car enjoyable yes there are some big plans for this car in the future big big plans but they're not all, all those parts aren't here yet and i still want to enjoy our chaser so let's dive on into the inside and start modding vertex car make tne if you are a fan of chasers or d1 vertex has made some of the best looking body kits and coolest car parts man since i was for like 15 20 years <laughs> This might be a little bit of a fuckboy car move here. Um, you can see what it does in the picture. It's literally an extension for your blinker. Now, this comes into play when you have a deep corn steering wheel and something like a hub because it moves the steering wheel far away from your blinker. So if you imagine our steering wheel being here, my hand won't reach. It literally won't grab the thing because my hand's out. So what this thing does is it allows you to move the blinker closer to where your fingers are. We don't really have a hub and we don't have that deep corn of a wheel. So really it's just gonna be a mental mnemonic. I got the goods, Ralphie. Now I just wanna get them out of my head. Thing. So we remember to use this as a blinker. So let's get open up the package and put this on. It's such a stupid little mod, but I'm I'm really excited to put it on. Why not? The easiest way to do this is do one whole side first. So when you put this on the lever arm or blinker arm, do this side first. It kind of will open things up and then do this side. If you try to go back and forth, it'll be too hard. So squeeze everything down, do this side first. And this everything is just kind of loose here. You can see it can still kind of move. So I'm trying to find the right position. I feel like this is way too close to the steering wheel here. All right, final form is on. Uh, fuck boy points achieved. It, car boy internet points achieved. Now, when we're driving, we have something to re remember where the blinker goes. One thing to note is there is foam included in this. It's on there pretty solid. Nothing's moving, nothing's cool. It actually makes the uh, whole experience here feel a lot more solid. So I'm stoked. Boom, 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 easy. Nothing says safety like a sick ass Broadway mirror. And the factory chaser mirror is pretty wide, so Hey, thanks Toyota for making a great mirror. But the Broadway mirror has a little bit of a convex to it and it's a little bit wider. Now I know these are cheesy car fanboy parts and I know this isn't big stuff, uh, big mod these aren't big modifications for the chaser. I know, I know, but man, it's the little things that make all the difference. And you know, you can say it's a little bit more riced out, but hey, it's our car. Speaking of riced out, should we do <laughs> underglow should we do led valve stems i don't know i don't care it's my chaser so we'll do what we want but let's throw this bad boy on and see how she looks okay that's a big difference hello everything oh my god i can see everything and boy oh boy can i see out the back this is amazing all right broadway mirror to the rescue and black chrome looks pretty sick one thing i will say is if you do put this on your car and you don't have a deep corn steering wheel or some room before here you're gonna have to take this bar and actually move it in quite a bit when i was just driving out my fingers would be hitting this let's show you guys the engine bay in the sun but here we go the braille battery is doing what it needs to be doing but you can see i added some bits here and some goodies to just make things look a little bit nicer the serial 9 hood dampers are heaven sent they literally keep this thing up super high. This hood has fell on my head, I don't know now, three times since working on the car and one of the three times I got it on camera. So no more hood falling on my head. Overall, I think that's about it for this episode for the Chaser. We kind of made this one uh, by hand. This is from Skillard Automotive. Um, they're a Datsun tuning or Datsun parts manufacturer but I figured it was would be perfect in the engine bay with all the stuff we're gonna get the color scheme we're gonna be doing in this engine bay we're gonna go with black chrome or raw metal and that's it 
and so a lot of these bits and parts are going to be either black or are going to be chrome and so that's why we want the black battery box another thing that we are going to get this week that will keep the braille topped off is a little alternator plug and the alternator only really puts out around 13 volts sometimes even 12 volts and so there's an adapter plug you can get and it makes your alternator put out 14 volts and it keeps that battery nice and juiced up and topped off and so we're gonna throw that on um, sadly it didn't make it in time for this video it should have been here but it wasn't but if you are gonna go an AGM battery highly recommend you bump the voltage up in your car to keep the AGM happy. If you run 12 or 13 volts with the AGM, it's not going to be that happy. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.